Well, duck season is rapidly coming to a close. We've got a little less than two weeks left, and to say that this has been a disappointing season would be an understatement. It's just been really, really slow. Uh, me and Truett keep grinding it out. We'll come back with two, three. Uh, neither one of us have come close to getting a limit even once. I'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video. Right now, I'm going trout fishing at one of my neighborhood fishing ponds, Texas Parks and Wildlife every year stocks rainbow trout in community fishing ponds. If you live in Texas, I can promise you there's somewhere very close to you, Parks and Wildlife puts these trout out, and you can go and you can take advantage of this program, catch a couple of rainbow trout. They taste great, they're fun to catch. I'm gonna see if I can't go get a couple right now, and then we'll talk about the ducks again later. There we go, first one. Well, I ended up with one lonely rainbow trout. That's okay. Uh, there's a lot in there, and there were a lot of people fishing, but I only saw three caught. So they're just not biting today. Got a cold front coming in. Maybe that cold weather will get them moving a little bit. I'll put him in the freezer, come back, get a couple more in the next few days, and we'll be able to do something with them. Let's get back to talking about duck hunting. Like I said, this has been a brutally slow season. So what do you do when there's no ducks flying? Well, sit back in the duck blind, talk to each other. Is it colder when you don't see ducks? Yeah. Yeah? Why do you think that is? Oh no. Are you thinking about it? No. Essential duck hunting gear, as I've said before, is coffee. But also essential duck hunting gear is a mug or a container that's got plenty of stickers on it. So we're in Texas, so we have to have the obligatory come and take it sticker. Cheers. I think it's hot. Then you have to have all of the other stuff on there. Bucky's imperative, okay? Howdy, y'all. Uh, water burger, Texas Prime water burger. Uh, and then a couple other ones. Gives you something to stare at when there's no birds flying. What's your favorite duck to shoot? Teal. Teal? Yeah. Why teal? Because they're small and fast. Okay. I don't know. They don't taste, I mean, they taste good, but they're not much of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my favorite, you know what my favorite is? No. Yeah, you do? No. Gadwall. You know why? Why Gadwall? Why Gadwall? Yeah. Because they're big. And there's plenty of them. So I can shoot six of them a day if enough show up. Tripp, let's go through your stickers. What do you got? Uh, I don't know. A pepper. Mm hmm. <laughs> Tom Brady. Nice. Yeah. So we have three ducks down. How many do you think we'll end up with today? Three. We're not going to shoot another one? Four. Four? Four. Ring neck. It's looking pretty bleak. Well, we ended the day with three ducks. Truett got two really nice gadball drakes. I'm waiting in the drive through at El Pollo Rico to get some charcoal chicken. This place is clutch. Now, one of the things that we enjoy almost as much as shooting ducks is eating ducks. Because I can't give you any videos of us shooting ducks, figured maybe I'd give you one of us cooking some ducks. So one of our favorite things to make, it's a really simple recipe, Louisiana buffalo duck legs. Like I said, this is a super simple recipe. You start with duck legs, obviously. Now these can have the skin on or the skin off. We're cooking these with the skin off. Now you're gonna wanna brine these before you cook them. Really simple brine solution, salt, 
brown sugar, peppercorns, boil that up, let it cool to room temperature, pour that brine over the duck legs, cover it, put it in the refrigerator for at least a day. After that, you wanna take the duck legs and you wanna give them a really good rinse to get all that brine off of them. Next, take those duck legs and coat them in plain old Louisiana hot sauce. Give them a good shake, make sure they're completely covered. Set those to the side for a little bit while you get your oil ready. Now you're gonna want your oil at about 350 degrees. And of course, if you can, you wanna cook these in a cast iron skillet because everything tastes better when it's cooked in a cast iron skillet. Now when your oil is hot, you wanna take those legs and just give them a light dusting of flour all over. You don't want them to get it really caked on there. You don't want a heavy batter. Just a nice, uniform, light coat of flour all over. Now take those, drop them in the oil. Now don't cook these too long. This is duck, so you want to get it that nice medium temperature so it doesn't get too tough. About a minute, minute and a half, if your oil is 350 degrees is all it's going to take. By the time it gets to that nice golden color, it should be done. Get it out of there. Let them cool and dry on a rack. After you've let them cool, go get your favorite wing sauce. We like Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce, but you can use whatever you want. Dump those into a bowl, spread that wing sauce all around them, give them a good shake, plate them up, and those things are ready to go. All right, give it a shot, W. What do you think? We've got two, maybe three hunts left in the season. There's a little less than two weeks left in the season. So hopefully this weather will bring some birds down. We'll get some action and we'll actually show you some pictures of us shooting ducks instead of just sitting around and talking about them.